Hello YouTube, this is Don with Donimo Services located in Northern Virginia and I want to talk to you about commercial mowers. What to look for when you're buying a commercial mower, the plus and the negatives. Okay, first thing when you're buying a commercial mower, you need to make sure the engine size can supply enough horsepower for the deck. Not anymore as pretty much new. They did fix those problems like Skag and Xmark had problems 10 years ago. Okay, the engine sizes weren't big enough to supply enough power for the um, deck sizes. The first zero turn I've ever owned was an Xmark 44 inch mower. They no longer make them. Um, with this lawnmower, it only had a 17 horsepower engine and the engine couldn't supply enough power for the deck. So the engine would be very stressed out and that engine only lasted about 250 hours and because um, the engine size just couldn't supply enough horsepower for the deck. So when that engine blew up, I put a 19 horsepower on it and the mower was fantastic. And um, I put a mulch kit on it and everything. And it, I mean, it was great. So as far as the, um, you know, when you're buying the lawnmower, you need to make sure the engine size can supply enough horsepower for the deck. For instance, um, this right here is a 26 with a 52 inch deck. Back in the day, they were making like 52 inch decks that only had like 21 horsepower engines. You need to understand that, you know, you're cutting a lot of grass and you need to make sure the engine is just big enough to supply enough horsepower for the deck, especially when you're buying a used commercial lawnmower, okay? Um, as far as the new ones go, I think they fixed it over time. But when you're buying a used mower, you need to make sure the engine is big enough to supply the deck. Um, now, the plus about uh, the stand-on mowers. Now, I use this mower for a lot of other things than just mowing grass. I can transport mulch with this mower. You can put about five to six mulch bags on the front end of this mower. All you need to do is put a two by four across the front. It will hold the mulch and you just need to make sure um, for the mulch bags not to touch the exhaust. But I can transport about five to six bags of mulch on this machine. I don't even think you can put five to six bags of mulch on a wheelbarrow, you know. And you're doing this, you're um, transporting mulch um, without hurting yourself, you know. The second thing about the stand-on mower. If you have long driveways to blow, if, if you have a commercial area that has um, a lot of blowing time, well, all you need to do is put the backpack blower on and you can blow while you ride the machine. It saves a lot of time. You're not tired. You know, you can use this machine for a lot of other things than just mowing grass. Another thing, you can put more mowers onto the trailer, okay, by this machine. Um, you know, you can put more mowers. And also, another thing, there are several things about this mower. Another thing, okay, the engine side, the engine is in the middle, okay? So, you don't have all the weight on the back. Okay, with the zero turn, okay, all the weight's on the back. So when you're cutting, you're leaving ruts. This isn't as heavy. You're, you don't leave any ruts with this lawnmower because the weight is, uh, is leveled out, okay? As far as the zero turn, you're leaving ruts. So if you're down in Florida or in the southern states when you're cutting grass, just make sure you're um, cutting a different way each and every time you come. With this mower, you don't have to do that.
So that's um, my intake on the stand-up mowers. And I just want to tell you, if you're buying a used commercial lawnmower, just make sure the engine size is big enough to supply the deck size. Thank you for listening to Dynamo Services.